and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another pen for review today, and this is a pen on loan to me from Den at Den's Pens. And you can see here, uh, it comes in this uh, very uh, small form cardboard box, which honestly I do like because if you want to keep them, they're easy to store. You could store hundreds of these probably uh, in a box or in a drawer or in a cupboard somewhere. Uh, if you wanted to recycle these, you could. These are just cardboard, uh, although they do have a wax seal on. Uh, but uh, these are either way, you could store either the original pen or additional pens in this box. So I think let's uh, lift the lid on this box. And you'll see here that you get a little silica gel packet just to keep everything safe and dry. And then you have a pen pouch, which pen uh, then provides with all of his pens. And then if I remove the pen from the pouch, you'll see here uh, this beautiful pen uh, with clip uh, from Den. And uh, this is the Aphrodite. Now, the Aphrodite model comes in from £130. So that's a UK pound sterling. Uh, this is a, a mix of a red, grey and white. Uh, and this is a, uh, I think, called the Divine Island. Uh, this is a really beautiful uh, material here. Uh, it really does look quite nice. And uh, there's a, a lovely sort of sweeping clip here as well. Now, in terms of the cap finial, it's a rounded point here and a more sort of pointed uh, point there as well. Uh, the, there is a seam here uh, on the uh, cap finial there, and that's so that you can put the screw the clip in place. Uh, now, if I unscrew the body here, you'll see here that this is uh, a number six size Bok nib. Now, Bok do not on their steel nibs uh, put a nib width designation. So uh, I believe this one is a medium uh, steel box nib that, that Den has sent me. Uh, you have a very long section there. And if I unscrew the body, you'll see a standard uh, international converter. It's a Schmidt converter. And uh, the material here, I want to say it's ebonite. It has a bit of a, a an ebonite feel to it, although to be honest, it smells a little bit plasticky. I am not so sure if it is ebonite or uh, if it is um, resin, but uh, it's quite an interesting mix. I think it is more resin. Uh, the, the pen is the Aphrodite, which is the ancient Greek goddess of love, fertility and beauty, uh, identified with Venus by the Romans. Uh, I, I think this, uh, with the colours, is actually a very good match uh, for the name as well. Uh, you can see here it's quite a, a long pen. Uh, can I post the cap? You can, but it's not that deep. So you could post it and it won't, if you shake the pen around, it's not going to come off. Uh, but I don't think you need to post this cap, honestly, because this is a very long pen. Even if I were to hold it up a little bit thicker here, it's still very, very long. So uh, I honestly don't think this is a cap that you need to post, but you could do if you wanted to. Uh, now, if I show you this material in a little bit more detail here, you'll see here it's quite an interesting pattern of swirls with red, white, and gray. Uh, and oh, could that be a heart there? Maybe a heart. I'm not so sure, but thinking with uh, Aphrodite in mind, that's certainly possible. Uh, but this is quite a nice looking pen. So uh, for me, I, this is a long pen, uh, and I wonder if it will fit in my pen drawers. We'll have to see in a moment when I do a pen comparison. But uh, it's an interesting pen for sure. Uh, it's a pretty much a standard cigar shaped pen, although a little bit more rounded off here towards the uh, cap finial. The clip is quite springy as well, so very functional. So if you'd like to clip your pens to things and, uh, and, and have your pen secured a little bit more, then, then that will work as well. So I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check, we'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So let's 
check the length of the pen. So the full length of the pen, we are looking at 165 millimeters in length. The length of the cap is 68 millimeters in length. I think it's going to be bordering on uh, tough to fit it in my pen drawer, but we will see that in a moment. The full length of the body, we are looking at 100 and, uh, 150 millimeters in length. So that is a very, very oversized pen. And you can see that in the size of my hand. And if I wanted to post that cap, that is just insane. So uh, it is a very, very long pen for sure. I think let's do a weight check. So the full weight of the pen, uninked, we are looking at just under 28 and a half grams in weight. The weight of the cap, we are looking at just under 12 and a half grams in weight. And in the weight of the body, we are looking at just over 12 grams in weight. So uh, 12 grams is actually quite a, a light pen for sure. So uh, I think I'll just show you that pattern in a little bit more detail there. Uh, it's an interesting pattern. Uh, this and many other pens are available, uh, both from Den on his website, uh, which I'll put up here, but also uh, at the uh, UK pen shows as well. And he's available to do commissions if you want a specific pen made. So I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Trisby Rack 700R in the Iris. We have a London Pen Company Christopher in Caramel Aeronoid. We have a London Pen Company Christopher 15 in Primary Manipulation 1. We have an Atelier Lusso Carina in the Black Ice Illuminite. We have a Atelier Lusso Carina in the Diamond Nebula. We have a Dens Pens Aphrodite in the Red Grey white divine island we have a black robin pens iego in the stardust we have an atelier luso and uh, we have a leonardo officina italiana memento zero grande in the sand we have a sailor king of pen this is the lucky charm and we have a visconti chatterley luxuries southwest so i think let's go and do a writing sample so this is Dens pens and it is the Aphrodite and this is a medium and it's a uh, Bok steel nib. Now the ink in here I was trying to sort of think which ink I would put in here to test the uh, writing sample with. I was thinking of well you can't do a white ink obviously I was thinking of a grey ink or maybe a pink ink, but in the end I went for uh, a uh, red ink. So this uh, ink here is uh, Diamine and it's Merlot. But I was very close to putting a pink ink in here. Now in terms of line variation, you can see here that this is a medium western line. If I push that nib a bit more, I can get more line variation out of it but I'm not going to want to push it any more than that. Although it is a steel nib, it can probably take the pressure, but I'm not getting any more line variation out of it. So it's pointless trying to apply any more pressure there. Now, in terms of the uh, ink wetness, let's have a look. This is quite a wet nib. Yeah, <laughs> this is a fire hose nib. And, and this is uh, part of the reason why I really do like Bok nibs. Uh, whether or not it's a gold nib, whether or not it's a medium nib, I really do like uh, Bok nibs. I like how they write. Uh, the. I, I typically don't like the Yovo medium nibs, although I do love the Yovo broad nibs. So I think it's really depending on the, the nib width, uh, at least uh, in, on my part anyway. Um, I can certainly do a Bok fine nib. I can't really do a Yovo fine nib either. So, uh, but for me, I, I like this pen a lot. So what do I like? What do I not like about the pen? Well, uh, I like the shape. I like that it's almost a traditional cigar shaped pen. Uh, I do like it's got a clip on there. Although nowadays clips, whether or not they are, you have a clip or not, 
doesn't really bother me anymore because I don't really use clips, but it's good to, to stop a pen from rolling away on your desk. Um, but uh, for me, though, uh, I like uh, the the pattern. It's an interesting pattern. I like that the pen's a cartridge converter. I like that it's got a box nib on there. Uh, what do I dislike about the pen? Uh, the There really isn't anything that I would dislike about the pen. Uh, I like longer pens. I like more girthy pens, and it is a little bit more girthy, especially on the cap as well. Uh, for me, I, I would say that it's it's a, a, an interesting pen for sure. Maybe the pattern uh, isn't for everybody, uh, but then again, you could say that about any uh, resin or ebonite uh, material, that uh, it really is down to the colours that you like and the patterns that, that, that really catch your eye. Um, but... Outside of that, there isn't anything I personally dislike about this pen. I think it writes very well. There's no hard starts or skips there. Uh, and it it's a, a nice writing pen. So I'd like to thank Den for sending me this pen for review. Uh, this pen will be going back to Den. And uh, he will have this pen uh, for sale. And also available at some of the UK pen shows. You can buy it on his website, which I'll list uh, below as well. And uh, you can also commission pens from Den. So... Uh, I, I think this is an interesting pen from him in the Aphrodite model. Uh, the pen ranges from £130 upwards if you're interested in buying a, a, an Aphrodite or even another pen from Den. Uh, typically, his pens range from £130 upwards. Uh, I think some of the uh, Zeus is about £150. And uh, I think some of the Beatles pens he has are a little bit more expensive because a lot more work goes into those. I think they're about £270. So that's my review of the Dens Pens Aphrodite in a medium steel nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.